on your guard. Ben's driver looked at a notice which was pinned to the board inside the engine shed. Watch out, he read aloud. There's a thief about. What's a thief? asked Ben. Someone who takes things without asking, replied Bill. Like Boko did with our trucks once. That's right, agreed Bill. So driver says we must be on our guard. Ben was dismayed. My guard's nice, he wailed. I don't want to hurt him. His driver tried to explain. Bill means we must keep a good lookout for people who shouldn't be here, he said. But you and Fireman do that anyway, objected Ben. So why should we worry? The driver gave it up and went home for tea. There were two small sheds at the China Clay Works, and Bill and Ben would usually spend the night in whichever one happened to be nearest. The sheds stood next to each other and were connected by a short passage. One night, after a day spent working in the dispatch sidings, Bill went to the main shed. Ben, who had been up at the clay pits, came back late and went to the other. The drivers put out their fires, cleaned them and went home. Ben woke during the night feeling lonely. He wondered for a moment what had wakened him. Then he heard a door close softly. Driver must have came back for something, he thought. He was preparing to go back to sleep again when he heard the sound of a nearby footstep. Opening his eyes, he could just make out a dark figure coming towards him. Who's there? he asked, his voice echoing eerily round the shed. There was a quick intake of breath, followed by what sounded like a collision between two people. Ow! said a voice. Who's it? said another. There was a pause. Must have been the wind, said the second voice. What's that shadow over there? The first man switched on a torch and found that the shadow was Ben. Only an engine? Nothing to worry about? Where does that passage go? How should I know? retorted the other. You're the one with the torch. Come on, that engine standing there is giving me the willies. There was a sound of retreating footsteps. Ben realised the men must have left both passage doors open, for soon... <laughs> He heard Bill's voice. Hello, it said, booming through the passageway. Immediately, there was a shout and a clatter. Feet ran back along the passage and back into Ben's shed. Boo, said Ben playfully. <laughs> but it was too much for the intruders. Hey, Andrew's back again, wailed one. I'm off. Careless of noise now, the two men made for the main door of the shed, shot through it and slammed it behind them. Next morning, the drivers found a broken torch lying on the floor at Bill's end of the passage. Who's been in here in the night? Don't know, said Bill. Ben and I wanted to play, but they shouted and ran away. Ben's driver had been checking around the shed. Ah, nothing seems to be missing, he said. You're pulling our legs, he accused the engines. We're not, squeaked Bill and Ben indignantly. There were two men, and when we tried to play hide and seek, they ran away. They must have dropped their torch when they went. The drivers remain unconvinced. Thank you.